Aggregate stability is one of the most simple tests that we can do and gives us so much information. It's also known as a slaking test. So when we're talking about aggregates, what we're talking about is these small crumbs that are in the soil. And what gives stability to these aggregates is the life that's in those soils, the microbiology. So if you can imagine, there's a whole lot of microbes in this soil, and as they move through the soil, they're releasing things like poos and wheeze and vomit and spit and like all of those exudates are what hold a sto soil together. Because at the end of the day, if those microbes can't ho hold their house together, then it's gonna be lost. And that might be lost through heavy rainfall events or um, rain or wind that actually wash their homes away. So what we can do to test aggregate stability is just take some soil and dry it overnight. And you can already see there's a difference in these two soils just on, in color. And we actually took these soils probably 30 feet apart. So same soil type, um, just different actions were happening above ground. And we take one of these aggregates, so one of these crumbs, and we drop that into some water. Um, ideally, you want some good rainwater, um, probably not water that's super hard, so think about what your water quality might be. We're gonna drop these aggregates in and we're gonna look at how do they hold together over time. So if we're low in microbiology, what we'll see is those soil particles and these crumbs will actually collapse and fall into suspension. They may even discolor that water. And you'll see this on like a heavy rainfall day is that the rivers will become dark or brown or muddy. That's telling us that soils upstream have collapsed, fallen apart and fallen into our waterways. So it's why in part the US right now loses about four tons of topsoil per acre per year is this effect. It's actually microbiology that are holding that soil together to stop it from washing away. You can take this soil and then look at these aggregates and compare different areas on your property. And what you'll find is areas that have the best health, the best growth, the best performance and water holding capacity will be the soils that hold together the best in the aggregate test. So if we compare these two soils, what you see is the healthy soil will hold together. It will maintain its shape and what you might see are like small air bubbles coming off, but actually that water remains clear. When soils have lower biological activity and are less healthy, that's when we'll see that soil actually disperse, it falls apart, it'll muddy that water. This is the four to 50,000 pounds an acre of soil losses. We can visibly see that and we can track that across the property from good to bad. Mm -hmm.